In today's video I'm gonna show you 3 methods how you can spice up your tags. Essentially we're just gonna make it look better and as you can tell by the length of this video, we're just gonna do it in no time. With that being said, we're gonna get straight into Adobe After Effects. Alright, so the first technique I'm gonna use is kind of creating that metallic text. So for this I'm just gonna hit Ctrl T, let's type in editing, I'm just gonna recenter it. We're gonna leave the font monster out black and for this I'm just gonna right click, go to layer styles and pick gradient overlay. So as you can notice we already got that linear gradient but we need to play around with this to achieve a good look. So I'm just gonna quickly head over to the gradient overlay and for this I'm gonna click edit gradient. And here the goal is to actually have that black color in the middle and then we're just gonna click here, move to the right and I'm just gonna change the color to white. It's already looking really good, but the thing is that we need to decrease the opacity. So for this, I'm just gonna go down to 66. And we already have that nice metallic look. Just make sure to pre-compose that layer in case if you wanted to rotate it, for example, because it's gonna look different to the original version. So yeah, we just hit Control shift c and we hit OK, then it's gonna be completely fine. Here you have how it looks with the talking head, and it's giving you that nice futuristic look. So now if we go back to gradient overlay and we go to edit gradient, you can also just replace this. So for example, have the black color on the side and white in the middle. We're just gonna quickly do that. And it's already looking absolutely amazing, giving us that vignette effect. I think I like it more than the previous version. All right, onto the second one. The second one is gonna be simply creating a new adjustment layer, and we're just gonna add Gaussian blur. Now I'm gonna bump up the volume, and as you can notice, our text is getting more blurry. The thing is that it's kind of looking weird on the edges, so you can just click here and it's gonna be fine. Next thing I'm gonna do is just head over here and we're gonna grab the ellipse tool. Now let's create a mask somehow like that. I'm gonna hit invert it and then we're gonna go to the mask feather, bump up the value. Also, I feel like we could go lower with that to like say maybe even 15. And it's looking absolutely fantastic whenever you got a little bit of blur on the sides. So say we're gonna grab this point a bit higher, it's also gonna look pretty cool. That's how it's looking on the main video. Also as for the second method, I'm just gonna real quick show you the scatter. Let's say we're gonna set it up to 10. It's gonna give us that nice look on the sides as well. And as for the last method, I'm gonna use Deep Glow. It's a paid plugin, but if you don't have it, I would highly recommend purchasing that because it's just simply better than regular glow. I'm gonna edit real quick and it's way too intense so we're just gonna drag it down to say like 0.5. Next thing I'm gonna do is just head over here to the aspect ratio and we're just gonna bump it up all the way to 2. I'm also gonna go to chromatic aberration and we're just gonna enable it. Now let's play around with the amount and also we need to just play around with the values a bit. I'm definitely gonna scale it down and also I'm gonna change the blend mode to add. Now definitely we need to decrease the exposure but it's already starting to look pretty cool. Let's probably go down with this to 0.3. So yeah, basically aspect ratio is a pretty cool thing to play around with. So you can go like that or like that. I think I'm just gonna decrease it a bit and let's see how it looks on the talking head. Also a pretty dope effect. So that'll be it for this short video. Hopefully you'll incorporate some of these techniques into your editing style and yeah. Without further ado, I'm gonna wrap it up here and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers guys.